Hi, I'm Dawn and this is where Shabby Meets Bling. Welcome back to Can't Sleep Creations, where we don't stop creating no matter what time of day or night it is. I tend to do some of my best work like late, late at night, or should I say early morning. Tonight's theme is summer entertaining, fun and games. And keeping that theme in mind, I will be making a ladder golf game for our backyard. I will be using this outdated quilt rack and these old legs from a poor table that is now missing two legs. <laughs> Before we get started, I'd like to thank Monica from Up All Night DIY for co-hosting with me this evening. When I was in Goodwill and I set eyes on this thing, I knew instantly what I was going to make out of it. And uh, holding quilts was not going to be its paramount uh, job anymore. These legs, they were another roadside find. And I'm telling you, you find solid wood anywhere, you guys. Free, grab it. Step one was to uh, break this puppy down and get her into pieces. And I'm telling you, it was it was way too easy. <laughs> Easier than it should have been. Now it's uh, choppy choppy time because the quilt rack is a thinner diameter than those legs. So we have to flip flop and cut it into pieces and then the legs will go at the bottom and the quilt rack railing will go at the top. So choppy choppy. There is a lot of reconfiguring with this project, but it's nice, simple, straight cut, so no big deal. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Now our legs get choppy choppy. They uh, have to be in sections because I need to create a place where our horizontal bars can be attached. Those bars that the bolas will attach to as we play our game. Our parts of our, our legs, choppy choppy, and now the main spindle of our quilt rack needs to be cut to make room for those little blocks I just created. Now I need to lay everything out and see if this is actually gonna work. And keep in mind, I did not go by regulation height or width or anything. I am playing my own game, so to speak, by making my own game. And uh, that's kind of the fun thing about creating anything. Do what you want, how you want. And then I'll make my own rules. We'll stick basically to the rules of ladder golf, but uh, it'll be a little bit different because I'm only making one ladder. For our two other horizontal rungs, I'll be using uh, a couple of dowel rods. Because I'm using two different components, the the quilt rack and some legs, none of the square parts are shaped the same. So I'm just taking my electric sander and shaping them so that they look a little more uniform, a little more like each other, like they belong together. Now I have to find the center points of each and every spindle and each and every little cube because we need to screw all of these components together to form two identical uprights for our ladder. Now I get to use the drill press. I love the drill press. We need to make a nice hole for where our screws are going to go into each and every piece that we have created. I am uh, taking off these little flying buttress leg things <laughs> because I want to... So a couple of them are really wiggly and the other are not, but I want to make sure that they don't go anywhere, so I am gonna take them off and I am going to wood glue them. Now it's time to screw everything together. And I want you to see how ingenious this is. A very intelligent individual shared this knowledge with me and I, it is, it is amazing. You take your double-sided screw and you put it in halfway. As if you're putting in a drill bit or, uh, or a screwdriver bit and you get it in there halfway and you tighten it up and then you screw it in the other half to whatever it is you're gonna screw it into. And then you just loose, loosen your chuck and uh, remove your, I mean, this is pretty cool. So check it out. You just loosen this up and ta-da! <laughs> 
save so much time and hassle. Now it's just a whole lot of gluing and screwing. Rinse and repeat, so to speak. Glue and screw, glue and screw, until we get all of our components put together. Our uprights are complete, and now we just have to take care of the horizontal dowel rods. I cut both dowel rods the same length as the original piece from the quill rack. I glue really well, really well. I add a lot of glue to both of the newly cut dowel rods and to that original dowel that came with my quilt rack because I don't want this coming undone. We intend to play this game a lot. <laughs> You're gonna go to the shovel and make something, make it to last. I intended to use uh, two pipe clamps to clamp the whole project together, but turns out one of them was uh, broken, so change of plans. <laughs> so one pipe clamp and <laughs> two bungee cords. Voila! <laughs> Roll with the creative punches, so to speak. <sighs> A very quick deglossing <laughs> to get her ready for paint once she's dry. While I'm waiting for my ladder to dry, I need to get started on those bolas. Bolas? <laughs> a ladder game is not a ladder game without bolas. Then it's no game, it's just a ladder. So on to the bolas. I am using simple clothesline and thrifted golf balls to make my bolas. I'm using a little trick here because let's face it, if you're trying to drill a hole through a sphere, <laughs> it's not too easy. So I am clamping it in one clamp and then I am going to take my other clamp and clamp my clamp to a piece of wood. And the whole thing is elevated and that way I can have a nice firm grip when I drill a hole in each and every golf ball. <laughs> it really did make quick work of this, you know, part of the, the process. And if you will notice, I have a piece of blue tape on the end of my drill bit. And that piece of tape is telling me how far down to drill so I don't go too far and to make sure I go far enough. I'm taking some really thin wire and wrapping it really tight around the end of my piece of clothesline. And once I get it all nice and tight, then I am going to glue it into the holes of the golf ball. I push it down firmly, then I measure the cord 13 inches and repeat the same process on the opposite end to create my bola. I make a total of six bolas. Actually, I made nine, three extra for practice. <laughs> All that's left to do on my bolas is paint them. But the latter, she needs her finishing touches. Details, details, we need to make her pretty. Now that my ladder is nice and dry and very sturdy, it's time to enhance her. It's time for some paint, some paint. <laughs> and we all know <laughs> I love paint, let's paint, let's paint. I'm using a, a very, very beautiful uh, called Coffee Time. And I love coffee and I love this color. I've used it on a few different things. I am absolutely in love, 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 love. Coffee Time is the new off-white. <laughs> Our paint color is beautiful, but she still needs a little something, something. So I'm adding some mini Florida Lees. Our letter game is complete, ready to be played. But first, I would like to share with you some of the changes I had time to make on last week's project. Because of time constraints, I wasn't able to get all my finishing touches done on my vintage barstool cooler. I was able to paint the medallion the same blue as the rest of the cooler and add a mini medallion on the inside and a bottle opener to our chalkboard and some magnets that I made in the shape of lemons just for fun. This time I added some coasters in my little metal cone. And now on to the main event. Our ladder game is complete and I am so excited to share this with you. Let's take a look. Here's our beautiful ladder. I mean, let's face it, it could still hold a beautiful quilt or blanket. And here are our bolas. All ready to play. 
Oh, it's gonna be fun. I have never tried this before, but it always looked like so much fun. Ah! First shot, for real. First two shots, for real. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have people over. Woohoo! It's gonna be great. I color coordinated everything from the ladder to the bolus. If you notice, it uh, matches my landscape decor. It's not the exact same color, but it coordinates. I'm even using my custom letter board to keep score. I love actually using the items that I create. Very self-satisfying. And once again, I'd love to thank my good friend Monica for joining me on this edition of Can't Sleep Creations. You'll find the links to her channel and the playlist in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Share it with your family and friends and anybody that likes outdoor decor and entertainment. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and now I even have a shop on Etsy. You can show your support for this channel by subscribing. Ring the bell for notifications of all my upcoming videos as they're downloaded. And for now, this is Dawn with Shabby Meets Bling. Thank you so, so much for watching and we will see you next time.